Hello again, YouTube. This is Reenactor Talk. Uh, this is the final video for the day. Uh, just going over some personal items that uh, just make your kit better. Uh, not all of these are specifically required, although they do make your kit look a lot better. Uh, I'm going to start at the top left here. So here we have front pages of the New York Times. Uh, you can get these from Barnes & Noble for, I think, under 10 bucks. There's a whole freaking pack of them starting with September 1st of 39 and then going all the way to the end of the war. Going clockwise here, this is just a little bag I made to hold any Farby stuff or small stuff. There's, it's not really an official pattern, but uh, in it, I usually throw in a razor. I do shave it shows. This is the one I use at home. Uh, this is a repro. This is a star razor. It's an original. And uh, I keep it in this Clix Razor box, which is what this one actually came in. Uh, some Aviator playing cards. This is just an empty pack right now. Uh, made that. Uh, made the Barbasol box. Still looking for something correct to put in that. But uh, this would go along with the shaving. Uh, also, don't forget, VD. Easy to pick up. Uh, a friend of mine made these years ago, which is why they look kind of uh, off color. As far as uh, this should be, this was white at one point. It's now beige. Uh, he just hadn't got around to uh, putting the strip on the back, so don't uh, freak out about that, you little uh, stitch Nazis out there. Uh, over here we have Dramamine for basically air sickness, uh, motion sickness, stuff like that. There you go. A wound tablet box. This is basically antibiotics uh, to keep the wound from getting infected. Uh, blanket pens. These are just clothes pens. Keeping you secure under a blanket on the stretcher or to uh, pin your wounds together if, uh, if there's anyone doing medic out there. Speaking of other medical stuff, we have two types of uh, Carlisle boxes right here. This one has a... Uh, that I've filled up with repro stuff in it for... Uh, there's a dressing in there. Uh, just this one's filled up the other ones aren't yet uh, moving over uh, some other hygiene stuff toilet paper not that hard to make get modern MRE toilet paper try and fold it as close as you can to how they had it print off this label and glue it one of these days I'll make a video of me actually making some of this stuff uh, over here we have ammunition uh, engineer stuff stuff that goes boom basically uh, there's no actual ammunition in here, but uh, ball ammunition, 30 cal, uh, M2, this is for an M1 rifle. Uh, black friction tape, you can get friction tape strips, they're just rolls. You can get them from uh, Lowe's for about uh, 3 bucks a pop, I think, or 6 Uh Here, 30 cal carbine, this is what they uh, would have come in. Uh, this has 50 cartridges, there's only 20 in this. Uh, one pound of nitro starch. It's explosive, and you gotta have blasting caps to set it off. So these are basically uh, these three items are engineering items. Uh, friction tape can be used for anything, but the explosives are easily for uh, engineers uh, for blowing stuff up. Uh, some other personal items here. Uh, this is an outgoing letter. These are incoming. Uh, you've probably seen these before in another video as the as you have the invasion money now in my shirt I do have some French francs But uh, they would have looked similar to this instead they would have would say issued in France five francs instead of five lira but uh, Same concept. This is to stimulate the economy of whatever country you're invading they printed them in lira marks uh, francs and they even printed some yen for the uh, those going to the Pacific. Uh, side note, if anyone has seen the 100th Division Reenacted page on Facebook, they do great stuff on little stuff like these letters uh, as far as research and then uh, writing little articles about them. Try not to use so much V-mail because from their research and from also what I've found, uh, letters are uh, more common than V-mail. <coughs> now I'm not saying don't have V-mail, but uh, regular air mail or uh, first class mail is a little more common because uh, 
V-mail just takes a long time. This is actually quicker. Moving up again, uh, a little more ration stuff. We have sugar. Just little sugar packets. There's two blocks of sugar in here, two cubes. Uh, I have two of these made up. I still have to get to make a third. This is what's in there. Uh, they call them John Wayne can openers, but what they are is basically a P38, and uh, they're issued to help you open the cans, obviously. Um, and if you don't know how to use this, uh, they even have instructions on it. Because, believe it or not, some people don't know how to use one. Uh, other stuff to make your impression cool. Uh, this baseball bat I found at my grandparents. It's made by the same company that made baseball bats during the war for the Army. Although it's not stamped for U.S. Army. Uh, Louisville. Uh, Louisville Slugger, some of you know of. Uh, this is made in the USA. This is the same. I mean, you kind of can't go wrong with a baseball bat. Uh, one thing I lack is a glove. And I don't think I'll ever get one. I'm left-handed, so... Back then, everyone's right-handed, even if you're left-handed. But this is the same type of bet that would have been issued. Uh, this is basically just stuff to make your impression better. Fill your pockets. You know, fill your pack, too. Some of the stuff you keep in your pack, like your sh shaving kit. Which I do, too, but I figured it would be best to keep with the uh, pocket size stuff. Also, uh, postcards, if you can find PDFs of them, print them off. Cut them out. Uh, make postcards. Uh, postcards for people who are stationed in somewhat secure areas. Uh, letters as well. Just correspondence in general. I generally see a lack of that with a lot of people in my area as far as GI goes. Uh, not too much other stuff here. Uh, if you want something... Seen, if you want to see something as far as me making something that's not here, let me know. Uh, I do have some stuff in my shirt, which I should actually get out now. Uh, in the pockets here. Some of you have seen them before. But there is some new stuff. Just give a nice little look at that. <laughs> Alright, so uh, identification stuff, basically. Uh, my pen kind of leaks, so the signatures look crappy. But uh, this is an enlisted man's ID card. And I do have a typewriter, so... Yeah, my pen's not the best at controlling the ink flow, so it kind of looks weird. Uh, this is a pay booklet. Uh, you get paid with this. And this is the uh, standard ID booklet. Uh, I haven't yet had anyone do my thumbprints or my picture... But other than that, it's basically filled out as far as information, name, rank, uh, <coughs> arm of service. And uh, that's basically it. Guys, um, hope you all enjoy these. Let me know if you want to see me make anything else. <coughs> Sorry about that. Talk to you next time.